back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jay. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Bronx, New York, and I make videos about what it's like to be in the Army, my journey through medical school, and just my daily life. Today's video is going to be about what it's like to be a 92 Yankee in AIT. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So before you can begin training for any MOS, you have to go through basic combat training, which is about 10 weeks long. At the conclusion of the 10 weeks, you get sent to Fort Lee, Virginia for 92 Yankee, um, where you'll do eight weeks of individualized training, and it's about 45 days of actual class. At the end, you'll do a field exercise, which is about three nights, um, which is almost the same as the forge, but it'll be a little bit different because it'll be actually um, pertaining to your MOS. So you'll learn specific things in the field that are conducive to success in your MOS. After that um, is graduation. It's not really a big graduation um, because you already had one for basic training. And in AIT, because it's so short, Right after graduation, you hop on a plane and you get sent to your first duty station. For 92 Yankees, we found out our duty station about two weeks in, two or three weeks in. Um, so all of the active duty people know where they're going um, as their first duty station. So as far as class goes, we have about 45 days of class and it's broken down into four sections. My class was also broken down into four sections because we have about 102 people and so we have four classes of about 25, 26 each. We take about one test per week, um, barring the internet and everything is working. And like I said, at the end, we do a field exercise, which is about three nights um, in the woods, again, just like in basic training. Um, as far as classwork goes, it's not that hard. As long as you pay attention in class and you follow the instructor, you should be fine. You don't fall asleep and you know, as far as studying goes as well, it's not that bad. Um, I think I study about maybe two or three days out of the week, depending on if we have a test or not that week. And it doesn't take me long because you are able to use your notes on each exam. Um, but not your personal notes. It has to be notes that were written on the outline. And that also depends on your instructor as well because some instructors don't like an outline full of notes for your exam because it can be distracting. Because nine times out of 10, you won't even need your notes to take the exam. Um, we do take an ACFT um, for whoever's watching this video. After um, October, the ACFT will be a requirement. So for us, it wasn't, um, but now going forward, it will be. And they also changed it. So when I was in basic training, it was the ACFT. I believe now it's the APFT um, because they took out the leg tuck and now it's a plank and it's also based on age and gender. Um, like I said, the material is pretty easy. As long as you remember control F for all your regulations, you should be perfectly fine. Um, I hopefully will get some footage today of like the schoolhouse and um, my class and how it kind of works the day. Um, I'll try to add in some stuff later on today. I'm actually about to be late for a bed check, so I need to skedaddle. Um, so a typical day here is pretty much you wake up at around 4.45ish, you go down for formation, you do PT. After PT, we have child formation, which is breakfast. And then after that, we come up, conduct personal hygiene, um, clean our rooms. We have bed checks. And of course, you know, they make sure the rooms are clean, um, and that everything's dressed right dress. After we leave our rooms, we go down for school formation, where we all form up and march over to the schoolhouse. We get to school, we're there for about three, four hours. Then we have lunch formation around 11.30, 11.50. Um, we march over to lunch, to the chow hall. And then after that, we go back to school for the rest of the afternoon and our day ends around 1700. We come back here, we change out of our OCPs, well, ACUs um, into PTs, and then we go to dinner chow and that pretty much concludes our day. We only have about like maybe an hour, hour and a half of personal time before bed checks at night. But depending on the drill sergeant, um, total line for nighttime will be a little bit later and you'll have more personal time to like work out outside or do different things um, during the afternoon. We get pass on the weekends. We do get pass on the weekends. Um, we're allowed to go off post. Um, when you first get here though, your first weekend you're not allowed to do anything. 
And then depending on your drill sergeant, you should be able to go around post um, the following weekend. And then after you take your ACFT, which is about halfway through four weeks in, then you'll be allowed to go off post in civilians on the weekends. But it does depend on your drill sergeant and your company. I'm a whiskey company, so for us, it's a little bit different. But over on the other side of the building in Papa Company, they're not allowed to go off post until later on in their cycle. Um, like I said, it just depends on your chain of command and what they want for you at that time. So that concludes this video. Hopefully I'll be able to get in some footage from the schoolhouse. You guys can kind of see a little bit more how my day goes. I'm actually gonna run to bed checks right now so that I'm not late and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. We just ate, um, chow was okay, per usual. Um, and now I'm about to shower, study for a little bit because we have a test tomorrow, and then get ready for bed and just try to relax the rest of the night. I probably have fire guard tonight because we didn't have it last night, so I'm pretty sure I have it tonight. Fire guard is just basically an hour out of the night where you just pull security inside the building. So that's what I gotta do tonight. Um, other than that, this video is pretty much done. If you have any more questions about being a 92 Yankee in AIT, please feel free to let me know. I'll definitely answer questions in the comments and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks. <laughs>